Okay, Spidey, you just have to keep the house in one piece. No parties, and definitely no spider webs on the furniture. Uh, yeah, 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 don't worry about this, guys. I got this, I got this. Oh, and one more thing, who's your friend? Oh, sorry for not introducing you. Um, this is Baymax, my cute little robot best friend. Come on, Cressa, we really should go, we're running late. Okay, honey, wait outside, I'll be there in a second. Oh, and Spidey, just one more thing. Anna has a Play-Doh surprise in the freezer. You need to keep it cold. All right, don't worry, Kristoff. I got it. Cool, thanks. See you later. All right, Baymax. I think this is going to be a pretty fun night together. But you must not knock any more stuff down like you usually do. No, I said no knocking stuff down. Baymax! Hello, this is Spidey Spidey. Hello, Mr. Spider-Man, it's Vera. I want to go to the movies. <gasps> Vera? Oh, of course I'll go. Because there's a movie about dancing and I love dancers, so I want to go see them dance, see? Oh, absolutely. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I want you to come over right now. I will see you then. Okay, adios. OMG, I can't believe she asked me to the movies. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, but oh, what am I going to do about this place? Oh, I guess I'll only be gone for an hour. Uh, Baymax. What is that on your head? Uh, never mind. Um, alright, I need you to watch the house while I'm gone. I'm gone for like an hour or so. Um, and whatever you do, do not touch the ice cube in the freezer. Okay. What a date, what a date. I knew she couldn't resist my spidey spidey charm. Wait, what? What happened to this house? Baymax, what are you doing? What have you done to this house and the ice cube? It's melted. <sighs> Anna and Kristoff will be here any minute. Oh, oh no, what do I do about this Play-Doh ice cube gift? Oh, it's all melted and mushy and oh, it's... Oh, come on, come on, put it together. Come on, work with me. Well, I think that should be good or decent at least. Uh, I really hope they don't notice. Hey, we're back. What happened to this house? Oh, I can't believe you guys ruined my Play-Doh Ice Cube surprise, too. Oh, well, I guess I'll open it and see what's inside. Oh, wow, fancy lotion. Thanks, Kristoff. Well, at least my lotion's not melted like the ice cube, and we now know that we can't leave Spidey alone with that big Hero 6 guy. Yeah, um, I knew your plating surprise would have been fine the whole time. I kept a very close eye on it. <laughs> Man, what's with that robot? If you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, um, tell me whether it was a good idea to go on the date with Vera. Um, I thought it was a great idea at the time, but uh, maybe it wasn't so much. But, you know, hey, she loves me. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey, welcome to Toys Review Toys! Today we are going to play with this awesome Color Change Makeover Polly Pocket Set. With this set you can color change Polly's hair, her clothes, and even her toes. Here's the Color Change Set out of the box. It comes with so many accessories and there's so much to do inside too. Right here's a door into the salon and on the door there's a little cash register so Polly can do business here and it's removable which is nice. There's also stairs they fold in for easy storage, but you can pull them out too just so Polly can go up the stairs. Behind the stairs is this cute hot pink salon station. It can work as a countertop or you can lift it up and grab a bottle of lotion. This set comes with four color changing dresses and you can color change them using this handy little brush. There's also two pairs of shoes, this cute little eye mask, and a mannequin. Also to assist in the color changing, there's this little bottle. I filled it up with warm water. There's a towel and even hangers for the dresses. In the dressing room area, Polly can twist and spin using this stage. It's pretty handy because Polly can put on an outfit and show it to her friends, but if she wants to look at it herself, she can just turn to look in the mirror. On the second floor is the main part of the salon. There's a little foot bath, 
And then this little chair, and this is where she can get her color change for her hair. The bucket is pretty heavy though, so it doesn't totally work when you have it filled up with water. So it's probably best to use the little bathtub. Now that I've showed you the toy, let's start playing. I'm just going to peel off Polly's shoes. They're nice and rubbery, so they're pretty easy to take off. And we're going to do a color change for her pedicure. Right now, her feet are nice and tan. Her nails aren't colored at all. And when we dip them in the cold water, they turn pink. Let's look at this close up. It is so cool. I love anything color changing. So dip her in and oh, look at her cute little toes. Those are awesome. I wish I could paint my nails that easy. Next up, we've got to color change her hair. I'll peel off the mask here and ooh, it's got to be cold, Polly. I'm sorry. This is icy cold water. Let's see her hair color change though. Wow, it is bright pink. This color change works better than I thought it would. I can't believe how bright the pink is. It looks so good on Polly too. Now that Polly's done in the salon, I think it's time for her to pick out a new outfit. The great thing about these Polly Pocket clothing is they fit my Magic Clip dolls, so I think everybody should get a brand new outfit. Since it's Polly's playset, I figure we'll start with her. I'll get her out of this robe and we'll put her in something really cute. Wow, check out this dress. It is a pretty blue with a purple belt. It seems like something that Elsa would like too. Now let's give Snow White a new outfit. She needs something a little softer. That magic clip dress is pretty heavy, and since her skin is as white as snow, I figure I'll give her a white dress. Wow, Snow White looks amazing. She honestly looks 10 years younger, too. She looks so pretty. I love the dress on her. Ooh, it's Elsa's turn. I can't wait to see how she'll look in this dress. You don't see Elsa in pink too much, so this is pretty exciting. Next up, I have Barbie, and since she's always dressing up nice, I figure we'll give her a not-so-nice outfit. Sorry, Barbie, you get the robe. Whoa, this is pretty surprising, but the robe actually looks really good on Barbie. When Barbie is wearing it, it looks like a dress. Huh, she can make anything look good. The last outfit I have goes to Cinderella. I've never seen Cindy in an orange dress before, so I figured it might be kind of fun to see. Gee, Cinderella looks fabulous. I love how the skirt kind of flares out. It's super cute. The dolls all look very cute in their brand new dresses, but there's one more thing we can do to kind of upgrade their dresses a little bit. Yep, that's right, color changing! The ice water adds a pattern to everybody's dress, so let's check out Elsa. Ooh, I see something blue. Oh, this is so funny, Elsa's dress has a snowflake impression on it. That's funny, that's so perfect for her. I can't wait to see more, let's see how Polly's dress turns out. Oh, that is cute. Now Polly has a leopard print dress. This seems like something Barbie would like, too. Ooh, and I wonder how Cinderella's dress is going to turn out. Let's see. Ooh, it looks like designs on the whole dress. This is a really pretty pattern. It looks good on Cinderella. I'm excited to see what Snow White's dress looks like. And it's blue on the bottom. That's kind of cool. The blue skirt really makes this dress pop. And the last one is Barbie's robe. Uh-oh, doesn't look like it's changing. Not only is Barbie stuck wearing the robe, but it doesn't even change colors. Wah wah. Here are all the dolls with their brand new color changes. In the comments, let me know whose dress is your favorite. It's really hard to choose, but I think my favorite one is Cinderella's. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey everybody, welcome to Nadu Rex's, and that's me, Shopkin's Surprise Extravaganza! Yay! Okay, so here's how it works. I've got five names in this basket right here, and I'm going to pick each name, and they get to choose a Shopkin's! Yay! Now I've chosen five of my good friends to join me. Okay, let's start with the first name, and it's going to be... Hey, Rex. Zerg, what are you doing here? This is an exclusive event. Well, I thought I was going to miss it, but here I am. But Zerg, I already told you we have five people and there's only five Shopkins, and you're not invited. Well, I thought that I could be an alternate just in case somebody gets injured. What? That's ridiculous. How could anybody get injured? I don't know. We'll just see. <laughs> okay, well, like I was saying, let's grab the first name. And I've got it. Okay, the first name is Barbie. Okay, you get to pick the first Shopkins. Uh, yeah, there's a problem. None of these Shopkins are pink enough for me, and I really need a Shopkin to match my outfit. Can't I just choose a surprise Shopkin right now? I'd like to see my chances. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. You have to choose one of those four, and the last person picked gets the surprise Shopkins. But that's not fair. None of these Shopkins match my outfit. 
Well, I'm sorry, but like I said, that's just how it works. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I choose a little pastry over there. All right, great choice, Barbie, and we'll get it out for you right away. Okay, here you go. I even put it in your own specialized Shopkins bag. All right, take it, 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 take it. Okay, I'll take it. There you go. Now, is that so hard? Let me just get my hand out of there. Okay, we'll see you later, and don't eat it all in one place. I didn't even know why I came here. This whole thing is, like, just weird. <laughs> Next time I won't listen to Elsa, and I'll just stay home. All right, one down, three more to go before we get to the surprise Shopkins. Who's going to end up with it? Let's find the next name. Ooh, I think I know who this is. It's Shrek, my good buddy Shrek. Shrek, come on over here. All right, the second one isn't bad. Since the beginning, I've had my eye on that wee little egg there. That white one in the middle? I don't know if that's an egg, but we'll check it out. All right, we'll get it for you. Okay, here's your egg in your very own Shopkins bag. Thanks for participating. Oi, I am happy about this, but I'm mostly happy that I can leave now. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, two down and three to go. Let's get another name. Hey, just checking in. Has anybody gotten hurt yet? Sir, I keep telling you, nobody's gonna get hurt. All they have to do is pick a simple Shopkins. Well, we'll see. Okay, like I was saying, number three is... Oh, I can feel the paper. And it's Elsa. And what are you gonna choose? Oh, I can't believe I got picked. Hmm, you know, I think I'll take that heart up there. Well, that's an excellent choice, and we're gonna get it for you right now. And here's your Shopkins in the bag. Don't worry about lifting your arm. I don't want you to hurt that awesome sweater. I'll help you walk out. Oh, why, thank you. All right, Buzz, it's down to you and me. Who's going to get that surprise Shopkins? And da 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 All right, whoever's name I hold, the other person gets that surprise Shopkins. And it's Buzz. Wait a minute. You know what that means? I get the surprise. Yay! Yay! Well, it looks like this thing's rigged. Oh, don't be a bad sport. All right, well, just give me that last one so I can get out of here. Here you go, Buzz. Take it, play with it, do whatever you want with it. I'm just thinking about my surprise Shopkins. Um, all right, thanks. Hey, uh, don't invite me to any more of your parties, okay? Gotta go. Well, he seemed a little upset, but whatever. Okay, just for the fun of it, let's choose the last name. And it's me. See, it even says me on the paper. Okay, now all I have to do is just walk over here to claim my surprise. Do, 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 do. Ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh boy, it hurts so bad. Zerg, I think you broke my ankle. Well, since you're too injured, it looks like I get your surprise. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no! Well, I'm just gonna go over here and claim my shopkins. No, 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 All right, no, no, just no, no, gonna no, see no, what's no, in no, here. No, 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 Actually, I don't know what it is, and I don't care. <laughs> Sir, if you could just hand that over to me, and I'll see you later, Rex. For Thanks for the bit, Shopkins. Uh, Here's the five Shopkins of this video. Let me know in the comments if you think Zerg should give the Shopkins back to Rex. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Thank you for joining me, Elsa, in reviewing this beautiful Sleeping Beauty cake set. It was handed down for me from my fairy godmothers. Oh, I wish I had a fairy godmother. All I got was frozen powers. You know what? Actually, that's not so bad. I am sure happy to help, though. I can't believe how much stuff this set comes with. Like the table settings, with the plates and forks and serving spoons, the wand and the cake and the candles. Whoa, and look at this cake. It's got several tears. The frosting's just lovely, too. And you can blow out the candles. Oh, wow, Aurora, did you see this on the box? The magical wand actually lights the cake. We've got to try that out. All right, Elsa, I don't know many cakes where it comes in pieces already and you have to put it back together, but um, this is one of them, so let's try it. Uh-huh, you are so right, Aurora. And you know what? I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but... I don't know if I've ever built a cake before. Okay, Elsa, what about doing it this way? Oh, uh, this doesn't totally look right. The pieces are everywhere, and I think they should be connected somehow. Okay, um, we'll try again. Ta-da! That looks perfect! Um, no, it still doesn't look quite right. Um, the fairy godmother said the candles go on top so that you can blow them out and make a wish at the end. Okay, let's just try one more time, and if it doesn't work, let's just try making cupcakes instead. 
Alright, Elsa, how about I take these pieces? Here we go. Uh, push it over. And then you put the other ones together. Oh yeah, easy peasy. I just gotta move this piece a little bit that way and a little bit this way. Oh no! You know what? I think we need my frozen powers. We did it! See, things are so easy when you have powers. Thank you so much, Elsa, for helping me put together my birthday cake! I can finally have my 17th birthday! It's only been like 55 years! Whoa, 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 Aurora, how old are you? You know what? Forget it. Um, let's just figure out how to light these candles and move on. Oh, that's totally right! Um, hold on a sec, I got my fairy godmothers for that. Alright, in order to light the candles, all we need is my little magic wand with my fairy godmothers, and they have to touch the candles! And it also makes the cake make magical noises! This rotating cake in front of my face is making me pretty hungry. Oh, I know. I'm like totally ready to eat it now. Yeah, so I know it's your birthday and all, but I really want the first slice. Um, no, it's my birthday and I made it light up, so I get it. Fine, fine. Let's just eat it at the same time. If you all like this video, please click a like and subscribe. And in the comments, tell me what's your favorite kind of cake to have on your birthday. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video, and click on top to subscribe, and then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Girls, I am so excited that it's finally my birthday, and I finally get to make my birthday cake. Oh, I am so excited, Aurora. You make the best cakes ever. Wait, wait, wait. You're making your own birthday cake, Aurora? Well, of course. My cakes are, like, amazing tasting. Of course I'll make my own. Aurora, you cannot make your own birthday cake. I'll make one for you. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's my own birthday, so I'll make my own cake. It's all right. Aurora, I actually make really delicious cakes, so why don't I make the cake? Are you really trying to say that you make better cakes than I do? Well, 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 guys. Don't argue. Let's settle this in natural way. You two should do a baking contest. You know what, Barbie? That sounds like a great idea. I am so gonna beat Elsa in this contest. Luckily, I have pre-made cake pieces already made, so I can just put it together. Okay, put this piece here, put these two together. Gotta put this one to this one, connect it here, perfect. Ah, almost done. It's gonna be so much better than Elsa's cake. Alright, and for the final piece on top. And voila, the most perfect cake ever. It's so beautiful. I'm totally gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna make the most delicious, colorful cake ever. I got my Play-Doh, I got my plate, I've got my frosting extruder. I am totally gonna win this thing. I need to make a cake and also a cupcake. Alrighty, I just gotta roll this out. I am going to have the best cakes ever. <laughs> it's ready. I better get it from the oven. Oh man, that was a lot of work. Oh, I use so much magic. Okay, ladies, time's up. Now it's time for me to judge your cake. I designated myself as a judge because I know everything about beauty and good taste. And now this cake is gorgeous. I love the pink accents and the light-up candles. And this cake must be Elsa's. And now for the tasting, I'll try a little bit of this and the inside of Elsa's cake. Mm -hmm. And the winner for the contest is Aurora! <gasps> yes, I won! I did it! I knew I made an amazing cake! Uh-uh-uh, not yet! I have a surprise extra dessert! Uh, an extra dessert? Who said you could have an extra dessert? Oh, I say she can have an extra dessert! There's really no rules in this contest! Barbie, you are going to love this cupcake! Ooh, I cannot wait to try it! Looks so scrum deadly mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who won, Barbie? Who won? Oh, it's so hard to choose with that extra cupcake! I see it's a tie! Woohoo, a tie! If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe! Also, in the comments, let us know which cake you liked better, mine or Laura's. Bye! Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, taking over the Toys Review of Toys channel to show you the biggest Sophia the First toy I have ever seen. This is the Magical Royal Prep Academy. Here's everything out of the box. As you can see, we have a lot of pieces, so let's start building.
and voila, the magical Royal Prep Academy is complete. And to learn at the Academy, I have the Mermaid Una, Sophia's friend Jade, her stepsister Amber, Sophia of course, and Ruby. One of the most unique pieces of this playset is this magical moving throne. Learning to be a princess is fun! There is so much to learn in Royal Prep. Oh, how exciting for you! Let's read in the Royal Library. Enjoy your lunch, dears! It's magic time in Royal Sorcery class. Off to our class to create a Royal Masterpiece. This playset has a lot of hidden features if you press this button. The board changes from an etiquette class to a sorcery class. And if you press this button in the library, it reveals a secret room. Here's another library with origami animals hanging from the ceiling. At the Royal Academy, there's a lot of learning. Here, Amber is taking an art class and she's painting some really pretty purple flowers. Also on the upper level, we have a stable, even a picture of Sophia's Pegasus Minimus and two flippin' surprise toys. This one's a trough that changes from hay to water. And there's another one, which changes from a flower bed to just grass. On the next level, there's a music room. And this piano is pretty magical. If you press down on the keyboard, it pops open and what? A squirrel's been hiding under there. And on the bottom floor, there's a ballroom. And in that ballroom is this little track for Sophia and Clover to dance on together. Look how cute that is. They skin and twirl together. It's really fun. You just slide this little piece. It's really easy to use. And there's even a mirror so that Sophia can watch herself twirl. Next to the ballroom, there's a little patio study with a desk. And on the other side of the ballroom is the cafeteria. They have a very fancy cafeteria at this academy. And there's also the snazzy staircase that takes you from the study to the patio. And one thing I love about these Sophia the First sets is they are perfect for all the magic clip doll sized figurines and Polly Pockets and even my mini Barbie figurines. So let's see them have some fun at Sophia's Prep Academy. Everyone has their own special place. Sven is in the stable. Cinderella is taking an art class. Meredith is checking out some books in the library. Anna is making some potions and hoping that she'll have power someday. Elsa is about to take a piano lesson. Ariel and Polly are having a feast downstairs. And Barbie's in the study. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see an adventure with this playset, please click like and subscribe. Also, in the comments, let me know what kind of adventure you'd like to see at this academy. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello! Welcome to Toys Review Toys! Today we get to check out this Sophia the First 2-in-1 Balloon Tea Party! Here on the front of the box it shows us the hot air balloon and then also Sophia the First having tea with her friends! On the back of the box, it shows us that there's a handle on top of the hot air balloon so you can swing it around with Sophia the First and her friends! How fun is that? Alrighty, this is what it looks like outside of the box! What a pretty hot air balloon! It looks like Sophia the First is having a blast having a tea party! One of my favorite things about this hot air balloon is the pretty purple design that's on the top of it in addition to the cute pink bows! And this is how it transforms into a hot air balloon! Whoa! I love the pink and blue stripes on it! Here's a closer look of inside the hot air balloon! We have a fun turning table, a teapot, some teacups, and lastly some delicious cake! Here you go, Sophia! Try not to eat all of it at once! Sophia wanted to invite some of her friends to a tea party! So first we have Jade, then Princess Amber, okay, got her in, and lastly, it's Ruby! This is gonna be such a fun tea party! Sophia and her friends are very excited to explore the skies today while having some tea and delicious cake! So here we go! Up, up, and away! We'll see you guys later! I think I see them! Whoa! Hold on! Oh my goodness! It looks like you guys hit some serious winds! Are you guys alright? After all that craziness, we're gonna play a game! We're gonna see how many people we can fit inside of this hot air balloon! How fun is that? So I recruited all the Disney princesses, and they're totally up for it. 
So the first person I got is Rapunzel. She's still wearing her wedding bell because she got a quick break during her wedding so she could come on the slide. Then we have Snow White and her cute blue dress. Next we have Belle. Love that pink dress with the flowers. That's really fun. Okay, the next princess is going to be Elsa. Love that blue outfit. Okay, we're going to stick her right there. Next we have Ariel. What a fun scarf. Okay, I think we can fit her right there. Okay, awesome. Alright, and then next we have Cinderella. Alright, we're going to fit her in the back right there. I think we squeezed everyone in. The next game we're going to play is called Tornado! And so what I'm going to do is grab the handle on top of the hot air balloon and swing it around and the last person standing wins the game! So, here we go. I'm going to do a test run first so then the Disney princesses know what they're getting into. And here we go! Whoa! It's like a tornado! Okay, they're doing pretty good. Let's see though if they can do the real thing now. Okay, here we go! Hold on, Disney princesses! It's gonna get a little rough. Oh, no! They're falling out! Hold on, hold on! <gasps> Looks like we have a winner! Congratulations, Princess Amber! You are the champion of Tornado! Your prize is going to be a trophy, which we'll get for you later, and some more delicious cake! If you enjoyed this exciting video, please like and subscribe, and tell us in the comments if we should do a rematch for the game of Tornado. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day! Hello, welcome to Toys Review Toys. Today you get to check out Sophia the First, Royal Prep Academy Activity Playset. This playset comes with Sophia the First and Princess Amber, three magnet outfits, two fabric embellishments, one gem stickers, two sticker sheets, and a royal table. Alrighty, let's open this up. This looks really nice. And I'll open up the other side, and wow! This looks so fun! I cannot wait to play with this! Let's take a closer look at everything. We have a very nice front room, the classroom, above that is an awesome dance floor, and then a lovely hallway. And here are some stickers we can use to decorate the inside of the academy. These are the outfits for Sophia the First and Princess Amber. Let's begin decorating the academy. But first, we're going to get out Sophia the First and Princess Amber from out of here. Just like this, they look great. All right, now we're going to close that back up. That looks great as well. Okay, so many stickers to choose from. I love this. So first, I'm going to put this window right here. It looks fantastic. And I'm thinking, yeah, the green chair would look really well with this. So I'm going to place this green chair right here. Now for the dance room. I wonder. I'm thinking about putting a table in there. That sounds like a good idea. So we're going to put this table right there. Oh, let me fix it really fast. Okay. All set to go. Perfect. All right. And we're going to use different colored chairs than last time. So we're going to use red chairs. So here's one. And I think we'll do one more for the other side. All right. Perfect. So we got chairs, table, and I'm thinking we'll need one other thing. Hmm. I am thinking a harp, so then the people who are doing ballet will have some music. Now for the classroom. Look at all these stickers we can choose from. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see here. First, I'm going to put this school logo on the door. And then, what else could we put on there? Of course, we need a teacher, so we'll put a fairy there. We could also put hmm, some books, because, you know, every classroom needs lots and lots of books. So we're going to put books on the teacher's table, on the student's table. Yeah, that looks good. Then, we're going to put some paint, because everybody likes to paint, of course. And then we'll put some more books on the table, and of course some paintbrushes, because you need paintbrushes with paint, unless you're finger painting. And I think that's it. Oh, and sorry, of course, we got to put some jewels on there, of course. And so we're going to put some jewels on the door, some jewels this year. Where else should I put them? I'm thinking, yep, on the desk would be a good idea. And let's see, on top of the bookcase. Great! And for our final room, I'm thinking about putting some flowers in the hallway, because that always makes the hallway smells really good. Okay, so we're going to put two pots of flowers right there next to the door. Let's see here. We need a hall monitor, of course. We'll put a fairy there. And let's see here. And why not, yeah, of course, put a squirrel, because everybody loves squirrels. 
Alrighty, let's get started on dress up. We're first going to give Sophia the first and lovely purple bottom with a matching purple top. That looks really nice. And then on one hand, we're going to give her some paint because she told me she wanted to paint today. And we'll give her some brushes on the other hand. And then for Amber, Princess Amber, we're going to give her her classy green outfit with a matching green top. And then we're going to give her a matching green purse. We're going to go like that. Oh, no. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, man. Okay, let's just one more time. Okay, great. And then on the other hand, we're going to give her a book. And once again, that is that. Oh, no. All right, let's try this all over again. All right, we got the purse and the book. Awesome. Don't forget to watch this whole video so you can vote in the comments for your favorite outfit. This is outfit number one for Sophia the First with the pretty purple outfit. This is outfit number two for Princess Amber. She's got a beautiful green dress with a matching green purse and a nice book to go along with it. Okay, let's do another outfit. We're going to quickly undress and get them back in their PJs again just like that. Awesome. So first we're going to do a, another purple outfit for Sophia the First. So there's her purple top and her purple bottom. I really like the combination of these two, especially the bottom of the dress. I like the design of it and the pattern. It looks really, really pretty. Okay, almost fixed and put together. Awesome. So then we're going to give her a nice pink purse to go with it. Great. All right, and for, oh, let me put that back on. All right, now for Princess Amber, we're going to give her a purple bottom with a green top for kicks and giggles. All right, and then we'll give her some flowers to go with her outfit. Alrighty, this is outfit number three for Sophia the First. She's got a beautiful purple dress again with a pink purse to go with it. And here we have outfit number four for Princess Amber with kind of the interesting looking green top with a nice purple bottom and flowers. And for the final round, get ready everyone. This one's going to be crazy. Okay, so we're first going to give Sophia the first a nice green bottom. Alright, looks great. Alright, and then we're going to give her a purple top to go with it. And actually, that doesn't look so bad as I thought it would be. And then we're going to give her a red bird to go with the outfit. And then lastly, a lovely fan if it sticks on. Okay, there we go. And then we have her Amber, Princess Amber. We're going to give her a purple bottom with her always classic green top. And her bird is going to be blue. Alrighty, we've got outfit number five. Sophia the first is wearing a lovely purple top with a pretty green bottom. She has a blue fan and an awesome red bird. And lastly, outfit number six. With Princess Amber, we have a green top, a beautiful blue bird, and a purple bottom. If you enjoyed this awesome video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to vote in the comments which one was your favorite outfit. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video, or test your luck by clicking on the box to watch a surprise video. Have a great day. Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing this Vroom Marvel Spider-Man Carry-On Ride-Along, which also doubles up as a suitcase. And this is the world's first ride-along storage compartment. This is especially useful for parents who travel with little ones. The strap allows the parents to pull the ride-along while their kids ride on top. Or you can attach the other end of the strap to the front of the ride-along and use it as a carry-on. And this ride-along is built for kids' safety in mind. And it's simple to open as well. You just twist the two latches on both sides, and turning the latches allows you to open up the flaps on either side. Then once the flaps have been removed, the suitcase pops right open. And it comes with straps for the inside of the ride-along slash suitcase. This allows you to keep the clothes or whatever you pack in there nice and tight. These straps are also very simple to attach and deattach. With the straps in place, now it's time to load some clothes. Or toys, like Spider-Man, Anna, some Disney Frozen Kids, another Spider-Man, Elsa, don't forget Barbie, and a whole bunch of other toys. And now you can close it without it falling... Well, this probably works a lot better with clothes. Now just close the flaps back up on either side. 
and rotate the latches back to the locking position and you're ready to travel. You can also store the handle of the strap in the recess located on the back. And now it's time to ride. Well, this ride along might not be for every kid. Some kids just they want to play with blinds. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video and click on top to subscribe. And then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Oh, I'm so nervous about my blind date. I've been out with so many weirdos lately. I hope this guy is a good one. Hello, are you Elsa? It's nice to finally make your acquaintance. My goodness, you are just as beautiful as I had imagined. Oh no, this is not going to work out. I thought you were a 1 to 2 scale, not a 1 to 3 scale. What's this? The scale bothers you? People are usually scared of the paint on my face. Oh well, I'm sorry. I just do not think I can go on a date with you, but it was nice to meet you. Have a good day. Wait a minute, don't go. Just because you're a larger scale, that's no problem. Hey, did you just call me large? Uh oh, that was probably the wrong thing to say. Nobody calls me large. Oh boy, she's getting this angry before our date? This is certainly a red flag. That's right, I'm going to attack you with my snow powers. Uh oh, better get to my self defense. <laughs> no! Now nobody gonna call me large. The toy featured in this video is the Inquisitor doll from the Star Wars Rebels new show. This doll is 31 inches tall, so it's more of a collectible doll. This doll has 7 points of articulation, which means he has 7 points that move. His head moves, arms move, legs move, and his wrists move. He looks to be scary and crazy, but so far in the Star Wars Rebel show, he's this proper person that's hunting down the Jedi that just so happens to have a British accent. However, I don't think I'd want this to be sitting in my bedroom staring at me as I sleep. He's sporting those old bulky military pants that you see in movies, along with knee-high boots. This must give those who are part of the dark side extra power. Now in his right hand is his lightsaber handle. This is a dual lightsaber, and it's pretty cool in the show he's able to spin this around. However, the handle on this is not allowed to spin, but it does have both lightsabers. And as you can see here, let me just attach this other one. His arm is able to move up and down and his wrist moves side to side. Although you see me spinning it here, this is not how it spins in the show. It spins around the circle. And just like his right arm, his left arm moves, his legs bend at the hip, and his head moves back and forth. Hey, thanks for watching Toys Review Toys. Don't forget to like this video, and click on top to subscribe, and then click on a picture to watch another fun video. This is Sandra of the Disney Car Toys channel, and today I'm guest starring on my husband's Toys Review Toys channel to open up 12 super awesome surprise eggs for you. In the background, I have a lot of my Frozen dolls, and also the Barbie Kelly Lost the Secrets Clubhouse. I'm so excited to open up these toys, and most of the toys I can give to the dolls. So with this one, it looks like a blind bag. And it is one of the Hot Wheels Mystery Models cars. This is really cool. I love these because it comes with a car and a sticker. So let's see which car we get. Oh, it's nice and yellow. Looks sporty. I like it. It's got a nice little orange plastic top on it and a little stripe. And the sticker looks really cool too. Now, who should we give this to? I see we give it to Kristoff Jr. We'll just set the car right back here, right next to him, and then we can open up some more eggs. I've got 12 eggs in all, so 11 to go. Let's try this little tiny blue egg and <gasps> yay, Shopkins! Shopkins, Shopkins! These are season two Shopkins too. This is Lena Lamp. She's really cute and glittery, and she is a pretty rare one too. A limited edition one. Ooh, and this other Shopkin is a garbage can. You can see the banana peel on the top, and it's Lisa Litter. And this one I just love. It's gum, and it's yummy gummy. Elsa's son Alex just loves Shopkins, so let me move that egg out of the way and I'll give him these. Oh, how cute. Now let's see what's in our next egg and what? Oh, this cute little dinosaur. Oh, that's adorable. I'll give the dinosaur to Ryan back here. He's kind of hiding, but I think he'll really enjoy the dinosaur. 
I'll grab this huge pink egg. What's inside? And oh, yay, yay, yay! It's a little pet shop puppy. Oh, I like this puppy because it has purple eyes and it looks kind of different. I like the short ears too. And I'll give the puppy to this cute little girl Eden over here. And while I'm at it, let's grab another egg. This time I'll grab one over by Elsa. And this is a big egg. What's inside? Looks like we got some stickers. Ooh, three stickers. They are all Minnie Mouse stickers, probably from the Minnie Mouse Boutique, just Minnie's face. A cute little pose with Minnie, and then Minnie and Daisy. Let's use one of these, and I can stick it maybe on this Kelly Clubhouse. I think this should be a pretty good space for it. And now it's a Minnie Mouse Clubhouse. Let's see what else we've got here. Hopefully a Barbie toy. And, oh, it is! Yay! This is a little helmet, which goes with a scooter that came with this set. This is awesome! I'm going to give Ryan here the helmet so that he can ride his little scooter safely. We don't want him to fall off and hurt his head. This is a really cool helmet though. And now that he has his helmet on, I can put him on his scooter too. This scooter's awesome because his hands fit right inside here. There we go, how cute. Okay, let's go for a little ride. Now let's grab this lovely pink egg here, and oh, awesome, we got a Care Bear. I haven't seen one of these for a really long time. Oh, it's so cute. You know what? I think one of the girls would really like this Care Bear. So I'll give it to Felicia right here, and a little merry-go-round. Now let's grab a toy from this big egg, hopefully a big toy, and it's a figurine. Does anyone know who it is? Yep, oh look, it's Pluto, Mickey Mouse's cute little dog friend. Looks like he's ready for a camping trip. I'll give Pluto to this lovely little Kelly doll over here. And let's open up another egg. How about this one over by Elsa? Little orange egg and oh, Shopkins again. And these are season two Shopkins as well. They have shoes this time. With the season two Shopkins, there's also homewares, which wasn't part of season one. This one is coffee drip, a coffee pot. This little cupcake is cupcake chic and it's very chocolatey. And this one's my favorite. It's Bun Bun Slipper. Cute little show. I'll add these three Shopkins to Alex's collection here. And oh, lost the cupcake. There we go. And now let's open up this little purple egg. This egg is very shiny and metallic. Let's see what's inside. And it's orange. What is this? Oh, it's like a little floaty inner tube for the pool. This is perfect for the Kelly dolls. And great for summer. Since it's December, the kids can't really go out swimming right now, but I think the floaty will do nicely for this little Merida doll. Well, she's not really a Merida, but I <laughs> kind of think she looks like Merida. So maybe Merida is a kid. And this inner tube just kind of squeezes on, and she is ready to swim. Maybe she could wear it in a hot tub or something. Now it's time to open up a giant egg, and yay, a blind bag of my little pony blind bag. These are actually one of my favorite blind bags. You can tell because I open them all the time. And inside we have this cute little green and yellow pony. I think this might be Winsley, but let's just make sure it is Winsley. And he is always looking to try something new. I like his little decorations though. He's got apples on his cheek. <laughs> really, really cute. I'm glad it because I don't even own this pony yet. So yay, one more for the collection. I think I want to give the pony to Krista, but she's way too high to receive the pony. Let me get her down the zip line. And here you go, much better. We have just one more egg left, and I left the best for last, I hope. I love bright pink. And inside, oh yay, a new Peppa Pig character. This is Rebecca Rabbit, and she's wearing a little tutu, and you see the bright pink blush on her cheeks. She is so adorable, and I'm going to give it to Alex's girlfriend, Joelle. I think she'll really like it. Well, we got a lot of fun toys today, like My Little Pony, Lil's Pet Shop, Hot Wheels, Barbie, Care Bear, Peppa Pig, Shopkins, Mickey Mouse the dinosaur, a little bit of everything. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like these, you gotta click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know what your favorite toy was today. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Hey everyone, welcome to Toys of You Toys. Today is day three of our 24 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar opening. On our left-hand side is the Christmas tree featuring a Frozen ornament, a Ninja Turtle ornament, and a Spider-Man ornament. And on our other side, we have our five Advent Calendars. Today I've just stacked them up, so we're going to go through them one at a time. And the special guest that I've invited today is Barbie. Barbie, you can come out, please. 
Um, I heard this was like some kind of game show, but it looks like all I'm doing is opening up advent calendars. Yep, that's right. Oh yeah, and I forgot, you gotta wear the Santa hat. Um, yeah, there is no way I'm going to be wearing a silly Santa hat. What? Come on, it's really nice. Look, it's right here. I made it for you. I made it out of Play-Doh. It's really soft. Here, just try it on. No, 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 here, no, no, just no, let me no, put it on your head. All right, fine. Well, you have to put something on that's Christmassy, so what are your thoughts? Oh, I've got the perfect Christmas dress for the occasion. Let me get it. Ta-da! Now this is the perfect outfit for the occasion. I couldn't wear some, like, doughy hat on my head. Well, I guess that's okay rather than the Santa hat. All right, let's get started. So for our first calendar, day three is right here on Mickey Mouse's ear, and we need Barbie to come and open this. Hey, Barbie, can you come here, please? Okay, here I am. Oh, is that chocolate I smell? I just love chocolate. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Time out. I've already had Shrek eat my chocolate on day two, and Mickey Mouse ate my chocolate on day one, so no eating the chocolate, no smelling it. Just open up the calendar. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Let me just open this silly thing and well wow. Alright, one down. She did a pretty good job. Now these chocolates are always a little hard to get out of there. I have to shake the package. And there we go. Okay, I think I can see the imprint. I think I know what this one is. This is a Donald Duck chocolate. Look, it looks just like him. He's got the beak, the eyes, and the hat. And I think maybe a collar at the bottom. Moving on to my favorite one, the Star Wars Lego calendar. Okay, Barbie, some assistance, please. Okay, I got this thing. Here's day four right here. Hey, wait, Barbie, uh, we're on day three, not day four. What? I could have sworn we are on day four. No, 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 we're on day three. Three, which is over there. But I'm, like, never wrong. Are you sure it's day three? Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure it's three because, see, we've only done days one and two, and it's not open. See, it's closed. Okay, fine. I can open up the number three for you, but, like, four is one of my favorite lucky numbers. Can I come back tomorrow and open that one, too? Um, uh, no, probably not. How about you just open up number three? <laughs> I can't open it. I usually don't have jobs like this hard. Well, you know, you did a pretty good job. I, I guess I'll do the rest. Oh, you know what? It is stuck. You're right. There we go. I'm going to cover the image here so we can't see what it is until I've assembled it together. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what this is. It looks like Lego just grabbed some pieces and stuck them in there. This looks like a cannon or some type of gunnery. I definitely don't recognize it in any Star Wars film. Let me know in the comments if you know where this comes from. But this does have a lot of moving pieces. The little gun piece moves up and down. And then you have these feet things. Each one of them can be rotated up and down. So you can use them as the feet. Let's put them all down. And then we'll stand it back up here. This third one, and then the fourth one. Then you can stand it. Maybe those are supposed to be wheels. They don't rotate, but they could be wheels. Okay, wait. I know what this is. This is a cannon on wheels. No, wait. This looks exactly like the microphone that I used when I was in Barbie and the Rockers. Here, let me give you a little song. La, 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 la. No, 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 no. We, we don't need to hear you sing. I've already heard you. I am definitely fine. Let's move on. And on to our second LEGO Advent Calendar. This is the LEGO City one. I'm going to show you how to open it up today. You actually have to flip it upside down, and the top part flaps open, and it becomes a walking path with a city landscape. All right, here's day three right on the helicopter here. Let's get Barbie over here to open it. Barbie. And for the record, I just want to say that, like, these boy Legos are, like, so not cool. Like, girl toys, like, dolls, especially, like, blonde dolls that you can dress up in different outfits are, like, so much cooler. Okay, I'm excited to see what this one is. Barbie's helping us out here. And it looks, looks like a little snowman. So yes, it has been confirmed. This is a snowman. I like the little stick arms there. The top hat is really cool. The only interesting thing is that there's no face on this snowman. It's just a blank block head. Okay, our next calendar is the vintage toy calendar. Just like you, Barbie. Um, excuse me? Did you just say I'm vintage? I am, like, so young and not old. Well, not...